Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna be doing another what I eat in a day. These are my favorite videos because I can just film what I'm eating and chat with you guys and we can just go through the day together. Today is actually March 25th, which if you didn't know, my meal plan membership is now live for you guys to come and join. I'm so excited to have this out for you guys. Derek and I have been working on this for the last three months, like every single day, and we're just so excited to have this out. If you didn't watch my previous video where I talked about well, everything that's gonna be included in it, I will explain that now. So the meal plan membership is called the monthly menu. Every month you get a new 28 day meal plan. So it's a four week meal plan. It is based on a whole foods plant-based diet, low in fat, low in calorie density, um, and it's basically how I ate to lose 70 pounds. With the meal plan, you also get access to a private support group where we're gonna be doing monthly challenges every month where it's like either 10,000 steps a day challenge, we're gonna do the eat your veg challenge, um, all different kinds of challenges like junk food free challenges or whatever kind of challenges that you guys want to do, we will do them in there. There's also a seven day guided meal plan in there, which is my favorite part. It is where we go through the shopping list for the entire week. I give you guys substitutions, if you have any allergies, um, ways to bulk buy and save money, and just lots of tips and tricks on how to grocery shop in the most efficient manner for the week. We also do all the meal prep for the week together, and then we go through the entire week together. So I make breakfast with you every day, lunch with you every day, and dinner with you every single day. And it's really helpful. I give you guys so many tips and tricks in there. Um, eventually we are going to have the whole 28 day, the whole first 28 day meal plan that is always on the site. It will be a guided meal plan. So we're filming it in week chunks. Uh, we're gonna start filming the second week soon. So we're gonna be releasing that over the next few months. And that's probably, that is definitely 100% my favorite part because I think it is so helpful. And we just wanted to get your guys' feedback on what else you wanted to see in it before we film the next week. And then I also do a live stream every single month with you guys. It's like a live hangout where um, we cook a recipe together from the meal plan that month and then we do a Q&A afterwards. So I answer all your questions and help you with anything you're struggling with and all of that. We wanted to make this really affordable for you guys, so it's only $29 a month, and we have a promotion right now going. If you sign up for a year right now, you get four months free, so you save $120. Um, that is available for the next two weeks for a little starter promotion that we're doing as we launch this. Um, but if you guys want to sign up and want to learn more, just click on the link, the first link in the description box. The website is just themonthlymenu.com and you can see just a lot of uh, samples of like the menus and things like that. So today I'm gonna do another what I eat in a day for you guys. And a lot has been going on here, obviously with like the video course and stuff, but Derek and I are building a sauna on our property. He hasn't started it yet, but I wanna document it for you guys um, because I am so excited. Um, but yeah, we're building a sauna. It's obviously, what month is it? March. I'm gonna be planting my garden soon. Maybe this week, maybe I'll show it in this video. Mm. If, I show, if I start my garden this week, I'll show you guys some clips of it. This camera is getting really heavy, um, so let's make some juice. I am gonna make, I've been making like celery and spinach juice in the morning. I don't know why, I just really like it. But there's another one that I'll show you that I've been drinking that is apple, um, cucumber, ginger, lemon, and I put a little bit of spinach in that too just because I like it to be really green. And a lot of times I drink that for breakfast, so I think that I'm just gonna have that for breakfast today because like, I don't know, when I get my juicer out, I just wanna make as much juice as I can, so. And I have a ton of apples to use up, so I'm just gonna make that today for breakfast, and I just make like a big quart of it. So I'll show you guys how I do that. So I'm just gonna wash a bunch of celery. I have this much here. I just juice it until it is like 16 ounces, and that's enough for me. Um, I don't do the whole like celery juice thing because of medical medium or whatever. I did that in the past. I didn't notice like any difference. I just drink this juice because I like it. And I just buy these big boxes of spinach. So I'm gonna use this. This one, I use a mix of gala apples and um, green apples because I really like how tart the green apples are. 
And then I have about this size of a hunk of ginger. I'm gonna use a cucumber. And then I'm also gonna add spinach into this one as well. And I have an entire lemon, I forgot about that. So four, four gala apples, one or two green, little baby green apples, a cucumber, and then this big hunk of ginger. And then a lot of you guys ask me on Instagram all the time what juicer I have. So I have this Nama juicer, but I also just ordered the new one the J2 one, so if you guys are interested in that, um, I paid for it, like I bought the, not, the J2 with my own money. If you're interested in like seeing how that one works, let me know because it's basically like a blend, I'll show you when I get it, but it's basically like the top is just a big blender bottle and you can just put stuff in it and then you don't have to cut it up, like it's really cool. So I'm excited to get it. I don't have it yet, obviously, this one I'm still using, but this one I feel like it's kind of like, I bought the new one because this one is like on its last legs, I feel like, so let me know if you want a little demo of the other one in a video. So I got my green apple cucumber um, ginger lemon juice and then this is my spinach one and I'm almost done with it so here's my breakfast <laughs> so today I'm gonna be making a meal from my meal plan membership I think dinner is also from it as well I wanted to show you guys kind of some of the meals that are in there this sushi bowl that I'm gonna make for lunch is like one of my favorite things ever I've been eating it like every single day for months now and it's just like tofu, avocado, rice, cucumber, a bunch of veggies, spring mix and I'm, I'm obsessed with it. Like I'm never gonna get over this one. It's almost the obsession that I have with the spring rolls. I haven't actually had those in a while. I don't know about you guys but I go through phases where I can eat this same exact thing for like five months straight every single day and then I'm just like, I don't wanna eat anymore. Not that I'm sick of the spring rolls. Like I will never get sick of them, honestly. They're just so freaking good. I'm really hungry, let's make lunch. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make the sushi bowl. So the first thing I'm gonna do for the sushi bowl is just get my tofu in the air fryer. So I have this tofu press and it's the best thing I've ever bought in my life. <laughs> At least when it comes to tofu, it basically like presses all the water out of your tofu. And this is so key. Like there's still some water in here that I gotta drain off. But this is so key because when you buy tofu from the store, it has all the water in it and it's like twice as thick as this. Like see how dense this is? And basically when you press it, you get like half a cup of water out of it, which essentially allows the tofu to be able to absorb any other kind of marinade you put on it and it gives it like a much better texture. So when people say they don't like tofu, I swear it's because they don't have a good tofu press and they don't press their tofu before they like marinate it and air fry it. Cause if you don't, it's just really spongy and it doesn't hold any of the flavor and it just, it doesn't taste good. Like honestly you guys, if you're vegan and you like tofu, get a tofu press, it's like 30 bucks. It will last you forever. So I'm just gonna use half a block of this tofu and I just cut it into little cubes. So just little cubes like this. You wanna just make sure they're all the same size. Sorry if you can hear my rice cooker in the background. I'm making rice for the sushi bowl. So just put it into a bowl and then I just put a little bit of soy sauce on here. You're just gonna wanna toss the tofu, like get it completely coated in the soy sauce. And then I'm gonna sprinkle garlic powder on it and air fry this on 400 for about 10 minutes. So while all that stuff is cooking, I'm gonna put my spring mix on the bottom of the bowl. Well, this is just spinach, but usually I use spring mix. You can use any kind of greens. I really like the baby like spinach, kale, and chard mix. It's really good if you saute it for a minute too. And then I'm just gonna chop up my cucumber and shred my carrot. I'm also going to just chop up like a little bit of this nori 
to put on top to give it that seaweed flavor because this is a sushi bowl. I don't like a ton of nori on top of stuff, but I do like a little bit of it. So I just fold it as many times as I can and then I just slice it. Another thing I really like on top of this is this, you can't really see it because this barcode, but it's the Fuyikake, I probably said that wrong. But it's just um, like sea vegetables, vinegar, sesame seeds, and like salt, and it's really good on top of sushi bowls for sure, and on top of sushi. All right, my tofu is done. See how like crispy it gets without oil when you just press it and it's like golden brown. This is so good. Like this stuff is so good. I can eat it all by itself. Like I just love tofu when it's made like this. So try this soy sauce and garlic powder. It is next level. It just gives it so much flavor. So I'm gonna put some rice in here and I just like to put hot rice on top of the greens because it kind of like wilts them and stuff. A little bit more. And then I'm just gonna add my toppings. So I got my tofu. Put my veggies in here. And then I always add avocado because you can't have sushi without avocado, in my opinion. So I'm gonna use some of this. I'll probably just use half of this half. And then I can just add my nori, my chopped up nori. I like to add sesame seeds because they make everything better. And then I like a little bit of sweet chili sauce. I do a mix of sweet chili sauce and just soy sauce. This is my lunch. Like I said, this is one of the meals in the meal planner. It is so good. I have been making it every like day almost since we have been working on the meal plan. So try it out. You guys will love it. And I'll see you guys for dinner. All right, so for dinner, I'm gonna make this really simple kind of like veggie noodle soup because I don't have a lot of ingredients in my house right now. I need to go shopping tomorrow, shopping day. But I love making this soup because you can kind of just use whatever you have that's left over and that's what I'm gonna do because I don't have a, a ton of stuff. So I have some frozen broccoli and then I have some frozen peas and corn and I have a carrot and half of a onion or a quarter of an onion left. And then I have some spinach I'm gonna throw in there and these rice noodles. I really like these. I get them at the International Grocer and they're just like, they come in these little squares and they're, they only take like a couple minutes to cook. So first I'm going to make a paste, like a so soup base, soup base out of miso paste, some of this sambal olek, and garlic salt and then i'm going to also saute some veggies after that in a little bit of soy sauce before i add that in so i'm just going to take probably like a tablespoon of miso and then a little bit of this this stuff's pretty spicy so probably like a teaspoon or so and maybe like quarter teaspoon of garlic salt. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to this. I'm just gonna mash this into like a paste until it all kind of just mixes together. So kind of like that. And this is just gonna be basically like a veggie noodle miso soup. So I'm gonna put my pan over medium heat and just add a little bit of soy sauce to it. And then I'm just gonna chop up the onion and carrot and get that like sauteing and i'm probably just gonna saute it for like a couple minutes because once everything once like we add the liquid and the noodles are in there we'll probably let it cook for like five to ten minutes all 
This is a really good soup to make at the end of the week when you just kind of are out of like a lot of ingredients. I, another thing I like to make when I don't have a lot of stuff on hand is just um, veggie pasta with just like frozen veggies or whatever kind of veggies I have left over because I can just cook the noodles, add some marinara sauce, and then just, and then add whatever veggies I have left. So I'm gonna add, fill this up with water and then add this in. And then I'm gonna fill this up with water again. So probably I'm using maybe like total three cups of water. And then I'm gonna add my noodles into here. These take about five minutes to cook, five or 10 minutes. There isn't like enough water to cover them, but I'll just flip them over when they have cooked for a while. I just don't, I like my noodle soups to be like super noodly and not so much like soup. Another thing I really like to add into this soup, which I'm not gonna have because I already had tofu today, but if you put um, some pressed and drained tofu, just like you don't have to put, you don't have to air fry it or season it or anything. You just put the little cubes in here. It absorbs all the flavor and it's amazing. All right, my noodles are like al dente. So I'm gonna add in my broccoli and my frozen veggies. I actually might not add spinach into this soup just because I had spinach for lunch so I think this is enough vegetables but I'm just gonna let this cook for another one to two minutes and that's basically it like I said you can add whatever kind of veggies you want into this soup um, you could add tofu or like tempeh or any other kinds of protein beans are really good in here as well so it's just a really easy soup, but the base of it, that miso base is like the key. You can see now my noodles are like totally soft. So this is done. I'm just gonna put it into a bowl and this will be my dinner. Hey guys, it's Future Me. I was just editing this video and I realized that I did not do an outro, so I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and all your support throughout the years. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some new meal ideas. And um, if you are interested in joining my meal plan membership, I would love to have you in there. We're so excited to launch this for you guys and to give you more support on a month to month basis. So I'm just really, really excited that it's out for you guys now. And once again, I will leave all the information for that down below. And thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you on next week's video.